Okay, so we got this finally uh, to show up so that it creates this gap here. And, um, you know, you, you should also be going back to refer to your mock-up in, in XD or whatever you chose to use so that you're trying to visually match as much as possible um, your, your general pages. And I haven't gotten to the whole issue of um, creating something with a home page uh, with a special style yet. Um, so if you don't get to that and you don't want to do that, that's fine. But uh, I think that I added that as a sort of like a bonus possibly. But um, anyway, what I want to show you how to do is, you know, I don't want these two things to take up full the full width of the browser. You might in your design. Uh, you might like that it goes all the way, you know, edge to edge or something. Um, but one of the things that, that I want to do is I want to right click this and I want to see what I need to do to change some of this stuff for my inspector. Uh, modifications. Let's put that on the right side for right now and let's get this open a little bit bigger. And one of the first things that I want to do is find uh, off to the side, I don't want to look at the header, I want to look at this content area. And one of the things right off the bat that I, I know that I need to do based on my own XD design um, is that I want you know, a little bit of a gap all the way around so that you can see that background image. So I need this to have some space here and have some space here and eventually have some space here. But the way that I'm going to handle this part of it is that if I go over here to the content area and um, let's just see if if I add padding in, in there, let's add some padding, let's say padding. And we could do it all the way around. Um, for right now, let's just see what 4rem does. And that gives me padding all the way around the edges so that, um, yeah, so that I have some additional space um, all the way around. And I think that that's something that I'm, I'm going to like. And then um, the other thing, too, is, and you know, it doesn't have to be four. It could be slightly less if you wanted. But I like the way that that is sort of lining up here along this edge. Um, if we were to do, let's say, like maybe 3.5 and see how that looks. You know, that might be, you know, you might find that a little bit more appealing. Uh, I think, let's try even 375, and that brings it in. I, th I still think that I'm going to stick with 4. Um, okay. And uh, and then, you know, you also want to make sure that you scale this and make sure that as you scale it, it it's going to work out. And at some point, I'm going to have a media query, you know, that is going to, to kick that 4 rem in because I think that for my mobile first approach, I, I don't want the padding, you know, whenever it's that small, I don't want that much padding all the way around it. In fact, I probably want none. And so one of the things that I could do is I could make a, a decision. Let's go into my inspector style sheet. The other thing I could do is remember I said this is div uh, with the idea of content. I can also style the site content as well. Let's go in here and we'll just change this. You could leave it that way or you could do site dash content. Okay. And so uh, I think that I only want that to happen, you know, whenever it's on a larger screen. So <clears throat> what I would probably do here is go and change this. So this is at media screen and, and then we'll give it, you know, some sort of dimension and let's come down here and close that up right there. Okay, and then I can tab this stuff in so it's easier to see. Uh, and let's say so that at media screen and let's just say maybe at uh, 601 maybe pixels or let's do min width, min width of 601 pixels and let's see how that ends up looking. Um, and I might, you know, and then that means that right here it, it basically goes right up to the edge and then it at 601 is whenever it pops up and you know I might even want to do something let's do this let's let's say that I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it down here and let's do this one at 769 769 or 768 whichever you want and then maybe for this one it'll be like 3 rem uh, and then whenever it gets up to uh, when it gets up to the larger screen it'll pop up to 4 and it gets a little bit bigger okay so that yeah so that might be something that we could work with a little bit all right um, and that means that there won't be any padding on the lowest level of screen 
Uh, if you decided that you wanted some padding there, you could uh, go over here and here, let's bump this back. And then this would be uh, this would be your normal view, so maybe one rem like that. And then we can lower this screen dimension down. And you see that it has some some side space. Maybe maybe we could do two and see how that looks. And that might be okay. So that when you start to get down a little bit lower, you still have a little bit of space on the sides, but you know maybe you want it to go all the way to the edges to maximize the amount of space that you've got. So, uh, so we could even maybe do 1.5. Let's do 1.5. Okay. And anyway, you can make those decisions. So that might be the first thing that I would want to start looking at. Um, and I'm started, you know, building this up in my inspector, which is kind of nice. If you wanted to copy this. Uh, you can always do what I told you before. You can copy it and paste it into something um, that, you know, just in case this page accidentally gets refreshed. So I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, a plain text document, and I'm just going to keep this sort of this little thing running here just in case something happens. Um, the other thing, too, is let's go ahead and let's jump back to my inspector. And I'm going to kind of find, like, this is the primary section. If I you know, collapse that over here. That's my secondary section. This is the entire content section, okay? So if I look at my primary section and I go inside of that and I see where I've got main, all right, I've got my main section, you know, maybe main, uh, this main area is where I might want to uh, give it a little bit of a margin. So if I can try that and see if that's going to be the right thing uh, and I'm going to do, instead of the ID of main, I'm going to do the site, let's do site-main, uh, and we'll say margin right, margin right, I don't know, let's just do it in a percent and see what that looks like, 5%, and it did, it did affect it, so if I hover over that, it did affect it, it added this margin right here, um, and so, I don't know if I want it there or if I want it on the content area. So we could we could try, you know, deselecting that and see if we select where it says primary. We can try changing that. Let's add. Oh, and it's also uh, where it says content area as well. You know, maybe we could add. We've got our we've already got a margin here. So let's see if we were to go. This is top. This is uh, right bottom left. So this is the one that we would want to affect if we were going to change it. If we said like 5%, oops, let's try that again. Let's type right here in the second value. So let's see if we did 5% and see what happens is that this bumps off the edge because uh, we're, ta we're now taking up too much space um, because margin, if you remember, doesn't work with the uh, box sizing of border box. So that's why it might be kind of better to leave this margin as is right now and focus on adjusting something different. So let's let's go back down inside of here and let's take a look and see where I've got site main. I've added a margin right. You could also adjust it so that it, it's added for the min width, uh, but let's go ahead and just give it a margin right. And you see that it, it bumps over like this. Now, one of the other things that we can do to this um, is right now it's got this, uh, it's got a, a background color. Um, and so, but it's not the actual uh, main that has the background color. It's actually, if you go up here and you look at primary, we can scroll down. You see where we had given the primary section a background color. So let's turn that off for just a second. And if we look at main and we go back to main, now when I highlight main, you see there's this orange stripe right here where I'm moving my uh, cursor up and down. And that means that orange stripe means that that's the margin and the green area is padding and the blue is the element. And so that means that if I were to give this site main a background color, okay, then that would start to delineate itself. Let's say that we want the background to be RGBA Let's say that we want it to be white, so that would be 255, 255, 255, and then for the opacity, we could do like uh, 0 
let's do 0 0.9 for instance and then now it's nice and bright and white but you can still sort of see through it to the background image a little bit all right so so far I think I kind of like the way that that looks and then we could leave um, you know like later when we go back and change this right now the secondary widget area is um, it's I think Alice blue or something we could go back and change it so that it has the exact same background color um, the other thing that we could do too is for site main we could give it a little bit of a box shadow so we could say box shadow like this and let's say that we want it to be I don't know like zero so that it's like the light source is coming straight down and giving even shadows on the sides and then like maybe I don't know three pixels for the other offset and then maybe 10 pixels for the blur and you're starting to see the drop shadow a little bit and then uh, we could do an RGBA and this time we'll make it a black uh, opacity so that would be zero 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 and then let's try 0 0.8 or something and you see it starts to appear right there and I think that might look pretty good and then we could do the same thing over here in a minute to the um, to the secondary column and you see that that's starting to take shape and take take form a little bit all right uh, so let's go ahead and um, the other thing too is that I think that this is too much padding um, and so if we look here we've got four rem for the padding uh, on there that might be a bit much let's see what uh, maybe like three looks like um, you know so we could have a little bit more space in here and so you could start to mess around with some of that um, and one of the things I want you to notice is that as I'm making some of these changes you know I'm putting stuff in my inspector style sheet but right here when I just made this change I did it was 4 rem and or, four, or maybe it was 4m anyway and I changed it to 3m and it's not my normal style style sheet look look and see where it originally is located it's in that content dash sidebar dot CSS file that's in the layouts folder and so make sure that as you're changing some of these things that you're paying attention to where you need to go and actually make the modifications um, but anyway uh, if I jump over here to my inspector style sheet um, you know the other thing too that I could look at um, is I could go over to you know look and see here let's jump back over here and I want to look at my primary um, uh, div and make sure that I don't have like any extra padding because I had all that ex extra padding here and I don't see any um, so if I were to do something like padding you know zero it's not going to affect it so I don't have to worry about that um, anyway uh, but that is there is one th one thing here um, that that was in that content sidebar that I did change and it was whenever I was uh, clicking or I was making changes to site main uh, class and uh, it had in a media query of min width of 769 it had the padding at three or had it, had it at four and I changed it to, to three so that's something I also would need to remember to go back and adjust so um, anyway as I go here into my um, uh, Let's just jump back over to my sources and here's I'm going to get rid of that primary thing and then if I copy all of this I'll copy this and just so I don't lose it I'll paste it in here all right and then I'm going to look and see you know in my style sheets where I can make these adjustments so that it makes a lot more sense and if I go uh, over to uh, Dreamweaver I can close this as from a previous demo I want to find my style sheets and the two main style sheets that I want to look at are uh, styles.css or style.css and there's also inside of this layouts folder there is content-sidebar.css and so let's look at both of those and make sure that um, you know where we add stuff it, it's actually making sense so the things that I had adjusted if you look over here um, our site content and then I had a media query with some site content stuff and then I also made an adjustment to site main so let's see uh, we have content area um, that's not the adjustment that I ended up making um, uh, here we have um, site main okay and this is where I had uh, padding of 3m 
and so I didn't make any adjustment to that padding. I did make an adjustment on site main to margin right, uh, the background color, and box shadow, so I added those things. So I can copy all of that, <clears throat> and uh, because this is rel related to when a sidebar loads, you know, I could load this here, but you'll notice that, remember, we've got this under default mobile styles that work up to 480. Well, I'm not going to want a sidebar, so some of that stuff isn't going to make any difference. For instance, like uh, the margin right isn't going to make any difference. I don't need that. But what I do want is I do want to go ahead, I want to copy the background RGBA, and I want to copy the box shadow, and I'll go ahead and I'll add that here. Might as well, because I want that to be those things to be true probably for every screen dimension, okay? And then if I uh, go ahead and I scroll down and I find um, my laptop or desktop sizes and I look to see if there's something for site main, you see that that's where I've got uh, the larger padding of 4M. And I don't, I don't think I actually do want to change it to 4. I think I'll keep it at 3. I think that otherwise it's going to be too big. And this is where I want to add my margin. So I'm going to copy the site main margin. All right, I'll copy that, and I'm going to paste that here. Or the other thing I could do is I could just change this value to 5%, all right, so that I don't have to have this as a duplicate. Um, and so I've got that changed. Now the other thing that I want to go ahead and look at is I've got something for site content, all right, and I've got these different rules for site content, and it's regarding the padding. Um, and so if we look and see if we have we have a site content here for the larger screen. So if I look at the 769, I can go here and I can add the padding of 4 rem. I'll go ahead and, uh, oh, but that's the site content widget area actually. So that's not the same thing. Hold on a second. Um, these are all the widget areas. So I don't think that yeah so I don't think that that actually has anything and what you can also do like if you see that something that says content area and you're like you know you know that it applies different classes and IDs to different things you could always just double check and come back over here and you know jump over to elements and see like okay well what what is it calling content area for instance if you're just not sure um, it's you know not a bad thing to look well content area the class of content area is the same as the class or is the same as the ID of primary so that's something that's really important to remember and remember one of the things we did do over here for content areas we turned off this background color so that's something that we should do in Dreamweaver so this is where we had that background color I'm just going to get rid of that okay and uh, so far everything else is going to be the same for content area and let's see if we made any other important changes down here. And I think that that's going to be fine. So it looks like we do need something for site content that deals specifically with, um, with our padding. Now, this is where it might get kind of confusing. I guess this is just the site content area stuff. Um, so this is my maybe where it starts to get a little bit confusing is you know the widget area is going to be uh, over here, right? It's going to be this thing. If I were to right click this and say inspect, you'll see that here I've got uh, I've got a thing that says class equals widget area. And so um, and you'll notice that that is inside of if you were to scroll up, the, it's the entire site content. okay? Um, and so if you look over here, back in Dreamweaver again, uh, you'll see that the widget area is a descendant of site content. So really, this is just targeting the sidebar, pretty much, okay? And so where it says background Alice Blue, even though I didn't make this change, I had talked about making the change, and I could go ahead and uh, choose to copy this RGBA of 255, 255, 255 with a 90% opacity. I'll copy that, and I will paste that here because I want that to actually be the same color. All right, and then the other thing too is that uh, I didn't look at the padding. I didn't really test any of that. That might be too much. I can go back and look at that later. I also do want a box shadow. I'm gonna copy that. I do want a box shadow around this, so let's try that. And that is going to 
work on the mobile default, default style. So if unless I actually override it and change it, it'll also be true for these other tablet and laptop styles too. So so far, I'm going to just go ahead and save what I've got right there. And then um, where I see site content, the other thing that I'm going to do is look over here in style.css. And I'm going to do a quick find with either Control F on Windows or Command F on Mac. And I'm going to look up dot site dash content. OK, and then it starts to pull up site content. And then you know you can do a quick search to see if you find any rules that are easy to modify that make any sense to modify. And click the Next button. None of these look like the right ones. And it said one of three. So that means these are the only things with the ID of site content that it actually found. So you might want to say, OK, well, what else? And, this, and I use this approach all the time, is I'll say, OK, well, maybe they were using something else like the ID of content, <laughs> right, instead of site content. Maybe they were using the ID of content uh, to target it. So you could also do a find. And you could look for hashtag <clears throat> content to see, uh, and it's, oh, I got to spell it right though, content. And it says no results. So it didn't actually find anything. You could also come over here and do a similar thing where you look for content, just in case we missed it. No results. And then I could also do dot site dash content. And that way you can see if it's going to override anything. And we already decided uh, before that this is not site content. This is the widget area inside of site content. So I would be fine at this point taking this set of rules that I made, the site content rules set, and I can copy that. And I am going to, uh, here's the thing, I, I don't just want to put this um, inside of the, uh, you know, th this style sheet that's for um, sidebars. I actually want to put that over here in style because I need it to apply kind of to everything and I need to see like what makes sense in terms of the section where should I put it so if it's padding you know you can come over here and say alright well it could have something to do with alignments uh, it could have something to do with uh, the content if you wanted to look at it like that um, <clears throat> I think that it's going it, it might be a better thing to deal with inside of the alignments alright um, so if we look at number seven, let's scroll down to section seven, and let's see, where is it? What's accessibility? All right, six. So oh, these are a different kind of set of alignments. These are like a line right, a line left and stuff. So maybe that's not the right spot. So let's actually jump back up here and where it says content, let's look in section number 10. <clears throat> so probably like in posts and pages under 10.1. So let's find that. And there we go, 10.1. And then you can decide where that's going to end up going. I think I'm going to put it right up here at the top like that. All right, and then I'm going to save that. And I need to upload both of these. So we'll put both of those up there. And let's put that one up there as well. And then... Uh, you can come over here and I'm going to just open this in a different, I'll, I'll go over here and I'll say duplicate just in case there's something I missed and I need to refresh the page and it looks like it didn't take any of my stuff. Let's try doing a hard refresh and there we go. Okay, so it took a hard refresh. So hard refresh is holding down the shift key while you hit that refresh button and you see here that it in fact did take my styles that I created. All right, so both of these are semi-transparent white, and I've got the drop shadow, and I've got the margins, and I can see my background image a little bit through it. Um, all right, and what the other thing, too, that you might want to see, notice this. Now that I can see the background image really clearly, as I scroll, look what happens. You see that it, it repeats itself. So I need to make sure that that doesn't happen. 